Earlier on in the month, I showed you how Capital FM used the HTML5 canvas tag to create a picture gallery. One of the features that I didn't show you was that when you clicked on the image, it popped up to show a bigger version of the picture. This effect, effect is called a uh, light box. Unlike the Capital FM version, which used images and CSS and JavaScript to achieve the effect across all browsers, I'm going to show you how you can create the same effect, but using just CSS3 and a little jQuery magic. Firstly, we create a link. When this link is clicked, we will use it to show our light box. So we add the onclick event show light box, uh, which will fire the JavaScript event off, and it will bring up um, the markup here, um, just below. Now this markup consists of a number of things. The first thing is the div, which we've got the ID here of uh, Lightbox, and we've also got the CSS class black background. Now this is going to be like the background of the uh, the picture, and it's also going to be slightly semi-transparent. When someone clicks the black background, the Lightbox is going to just disappear as well. We also have this white frame, which um, well frames the picture. Um, it's just a little white box and this is where we are going to have the rounded corners. We also have the picture that we're going to display and then finally uh, at the bottom there a close button that when clicked will hide the light box. Next we're going to add the JavaScript to make things easy. I've added a reference to the jQuery uh, library. This is the Microsoft CDN uh, version of jQuery library. I've also added two functions. One's called show lightbox and the other's called hide lightbox. These use the jQuery library to fade the lightbox in and out of the view. I've used the fade in and out functions on the jQuery library to achieve this. The 500 parameter at the end there just means that the fade effect will last for 500 milliseconds. You can change this to create a longer or shorter fading effect. Finally, we'll add the CSS and the first class is called black background. This class creates a black, semi-transparent rectangle that has a height and width of 100 so that it fills the screen entirely. I've used the new RGBA property to express the colour uh, of the background. This property not only sets the colour but also supports an alpha channel so that we can colour so that the colour can be semi-transparent and the site underneath will show through. To create a RGB colour, you simply set the uh, red, green and blue values and then you set a uh, alpha value um, so for in, in this instance it's 64 64 64 which is black and then we've put the um, alpha value as 0 0.7 which is a 70% a transparency so we should be able to see the site underneath that. Next we have the CSS class called white frame. Here we've added the border radius um, which rounds the corners basically. Um, this is the most basic example of border radius where you've just applied 10 pixels to every single corner but if you want you can be more advanced and you can have different radiuses on each corner um, but for this effect 10 pixels all the way around is perfect. I've also added a box shadow effect now this is going to create a little shadow all the way around the, the white frame. Now i9 supports box shadow without a vendor free prefix but if you want to support Chrome and Safari uh, and Mozilla versions lower than sort of four I think then you'll need to add this WebKit and Mozilla vendor property well vendor prefix sorry. Finally I've added a close button again I use the border radius property to give all the corners a 10 pix rounding. When we launch the site and click the show picture link we will see the light box fades into view in browsers that support border radius and, and RGBA colors and the box shadow property, we're going to see this effect um, really nicely. It's going to it's going to show up. But if I just switch the browser over to IE7 mode, we'll see that it's kind of flatter and squarer when it when it shows up. Now it's completely up to you whether you want to leave it like that for IE6, IE7 visitors, or if you want to invest some time in uh, using some JavaScript, some CSS, and some images to make it work in those older browsers. Uh, for me, um, for my site, I kind of like it the way it is, um, sort of leveraging the, the features of modern browsers, um, but sort of just degrading nicely in uh, IE6, IE7 and IE8.